What's up YouTube? It's Sofa from TechCycle. Today we will be looking at Edward Snowden's Evan app. So let's begin. So talking about the app, Edward Snowden released his new app that is Evan Keep Watch. By using this app, you can turn your old smartphone or your new smartphone into a spying tool. So how does this work? This app uses your phone's accelerometer, light sensor, mic input, two cameras that is both front and back to change the con to detect the change in the configured value and will record that change. So this is the simple procedure used by this app and this app does not require root permission or root access. So it will work on every phone. This app is very useful for prevention against evil made attack. It is a type of attack in which an hacker has the physical access to our laptop, computer or any sort of data we are having. That is the hacker is having a physical access. So we can use this app installed smartphone in that place the our database uh, the place where we keep our data and when the hacker uses that data and if there is a change in that position or uh, there is an increase in sound it, this app will record everything these are all the small things about the app before jumping into the interface of the app uh, there is some group of people saying that these App is a malware from Edward Snowden. I do not believe that because the complete code of this app is in GitHub page. So if you are a developer, you can just decompile this APK and check whether it's a malware or not. Also, it's available in Google Play Store. So it will definitely not be a malware. So it's going to be your choice of installing this or not installing this. So, so leaving all these things and we are going to jump into the interface. So in your phone, add over to Play Store and search for Evan. I have already searched for it. And you can find this Evan Keep Watch Beta and install that. It is in beta. It's a public beta release. So after installing, open that. I have already opened that, so it will be a little bit different. Sorry for that. It's it is same every time when I open this app. So it is the interface of the app. Just swipe and just use this configure option or you can configure after you enter the settings i'm going to configure here so it is it is showing you guys to check the accelerometer so if you want to configure you can configure it in the right way that is by placing it over your laptop side or anywhere that is not changed it should be in perfect condition i'm going to just wait for some times i'm going to save that after that, it is going to show you guys to make some noise. The ambient noise of your room should be recorded. So record something. I have control my headphone, so it's not recording. So I'm going to save that. After that, press nest. nest. If you want to receive the test message, you can save the number in which the test message should be received. I'm not going to do that. So press nest. I'm going to finish this up. So this is going to be the interface of the app. It is showing me the front cam. So in the settings, you can find that you can select the camera which you wanted, the front or back, and you can configure the sound sensitivity here, movement sensitivity here, and the delay time, the message number, and if you have a tour service you can set that too so i'm going to save that so it is a countdown and the number you're seeing here is a countdown so when you press start now it will just count down and when the timer reaches zero it will start the changes you see in this camera is the movement it is detecting the movement and it is going to capture every movement i will show you guys with an example so it is now activated 
so the it is now you can have the the notification down here that is the motion and camera has been working it is taking some photos if i change if i just change the moment it's going to show me as accelerometer also so i'm going to deactivate now there is the log there and the in that in that particular second there is about 38 detection events that is 38 times i have moved my camera so here you can find that it is to take on a lot of pictures i think the accelerometer uh, the movement of the accelerometer is not detected by the phone i think that's a bug i have tried a lot of times and it's not recorded but the audio is recorded sometimes Sometimes the audio is recorded, that is why it's scoring better. There is a lot of problems and this problem need to be sorted out. This is how you can configure the Avon app. If there is a small change in the camera, the, it is recorded very fastly. But if there is a change in the accelerometer or in the mic, it is not recorded as the camera is recording. So there is a bug in that situations. It's a public beta and you can use that and there is the code is in the github page of the Evan app you can contribute to that if you are a developer if you can't contribute on that way you can contribute by paying some donation that's what he said in his video you can do that if you wonder that so that's all about this Evan app and thanks for watching guys if you like this video hit the like button if you think this video sucks hit the dislike button and let me know so i can improve my contents if you got suggestion for any other videos like this or anything else, just comment down below or you can do that on Twitter, Facebook or Google+. Link will be in the description and don't forget to subscribe.